Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Ascot Racecourse here on Friday. It is the 23rd July 2021. We're going to look at the featured fourth race, the 3 o'clock from Ascot. But before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. And I mean around the world. Let's look at the fourth race, 3 o'clock, which is the Group 3 Valley and Stakes. It's Group 3 event for Class 1 horses, going for a purse $109,500. Race for three year olds and upwards. Play the mayors here. We have a field of seven horses going 1600 meters or one mile around the round mile here at ascot it's top selection i'm gonna go take the six horse indigo girl we'll go six three seven in the tri cash trifecta six three seven tri cash trifecta top selection six horse indigo girl this three for the bed valley frankie detour is on this one for jonathan daddy gausden the horse is most recent adding came the 9th of october at newmarket one mile in the group one Philly's mile there, and the horse finished second by half length, and she stayed the tr trip well. She broke well. She quickened up a little bit. She just couldn't catch Pretty Gorge. She just had a little better jump on her, but she didn't run a half bad against this group one quality horses. Coming here to the three-year-old uh, debut um, here at Ascot, drawn very well on the rail. I think the horse has a forward speed to win here. Two back, the horse ran the 10th of September at Doncaster, one mile in the group two, Mary Hill Stakes, and the horse went by three quarters in length, and with the Tory up that day, the last time the Tory, and the only time the Tory rode the horse, Again, she just won very easily on the stand side on the very quickest ground that, uh, which to that point was the quickest ground she ever ran on in her career, and basically the quickest round she's run on so far in her career. Uh, you know, she broke well again. She just basically quickened up easily, and she could have probably won by more, but Frankie wasn't going to kill the horse. A very good, easy race there. And in late August last year, it's on soft ground at Yarmouth, one mile of Phillies, novice class five event. She won by three quarters, by three lengths. A little lax days going early on, but she still got the job then. She's been improving with every single race, coming here off the bench at seven to five. She has to forward least speed to win here. Slitch user. You know, the three horse lights on um, is your second likeliest winner. She won very easily at Pine Defract, and I mean very easily, um, on the 6th of July in the listed stakes, winning by 10 uh, from the outside poacher, which is not ideal there, but she still got over easily and won for fun. Uh, and then prior to that, Ascot um, on the 16th of June uh, during a rural meeting on a one mile class two Phillies handicap, she finished eighth by four and a half lengths, and she just never really got going on the stand side. But with going around the round mile here today, you know, a little smaller field has some forward leaf speed. I think, uh, you know, with the freshness factor, it wouldn't surprise me if she could, if, if she would get in front of Indigo Girl late. We'll use her in the place pot, but Indigo Girl does have the um, the factor of being a lot better horse and run the, is run faster numbers. But to recap my selection for the fourth at three o'clock for mascots to Group Three Valley Instincts, let's take the six horse Indigo Girl. Give kudos to the three horse lights on six three seven tri cash trifecta six three in your place pot. So good luck to all. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit Five. Good luck to everybody.